Hey, what is up guys? It is Justin here back and I'm bringing you a little bit more of a serious video here. But I wanted to talk about NHL 15 and what has went well and what has went wrong. It's around two to three weeks into the game and I thought, you know what, I think I should give out my own personal opinion on what I thought about NHL 15 so far. I also want to hear your opinions as well about NHL 15 in the comments box below. If there's anything that you want to tell me, anything that there's you want clarification on, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer some of your questions or some of your comments down below. So feel free to put in your input whenever you want. So first of all, I want to make this clear that I do not really want to talk about the, the incompleteness of the game and you can definitely tell that it's missing ESHL and there are a lot of little mini problems in every single game mode which really adds up to a very incomplete game like I said and I just want to say that I don't really want to talk about it just because it would be like a 20-30 minute video and I really want to mainly talk about what I think has really happened within the two months leading up to NHL 15 so far and already in two weeks uh, into the release of the game. I just want to give out my own personal opinion and and first of all, I want to say that I felt like NHL 15 was a very rushed game. And I, the reason why I think it was rushed, it was because it was, uh, I think that the EA development team thought they could bring it up to next gen, even though that they did not have the resources and the time to do it. And you can definitely tell that the game suffered because ESHL is not in it, HUD is kind of, uh, kind of faulty in a, in a way. A lot of game modes are faulty, a lot of, a lot of problems with it. So I felt like if they really held off NHL 15, kept it on the 360 and the PS3 and made improvements, that it would have been a very fun game mode and very fun game I mean. Uh, but I felt like if they held off NHL uh, until NHL 16 to bring it onto the current or the current gen, I mean the Xbox One, the PS4, I felt like it would be a lot more not rushed game, a lot more complete game, something that the EA consumers or the EA Sports NHL consumers can look forward to, uh, instead of this really uh, crappy uh, kind of kind of faulty game that they have to even put out post content release updates to. However, even though there are little small problems with NHL 15, I do really enjoy the gameplay. I can really see how NHL 15 is going to improve for 16, and that's why I say on Twitter, like when I, what this NHL 15 is a stepping stone for NHL 16. I think NHL 16 is going to be a great game. I do not think that EA is going to take another year off for ESHL. I think that would be the worst thing they could do right for right now, at least. I think that's their main priority, uh, but for sure. I really think that they did a very good job on the gameplay, other than the fact that there are a couple problems. I thought that they should still have held off for, for putting on next gen because they were definitely not ready. I could see how they could maybe make small updates or at least small development in NHL 15 this year uh, or next gen, uh, you know what, improvements this year and then kind of give us the whole NHL 16 experience. I don't think NHL 15 was completely ready to be on the market, especially when uh, the 360 and the PS3 got such a short end of the stick while the Xbox. Uh, one in the PS4 uh, got the longer end of the stick, but nowhere close to being a complete game that uh, that we should be able to buy. So that is just about it for my review for NHL 15. I just want to say that it was incomplete and that it felt rushed. And now I really want to talk about the EA event uh, because I think a lot of us are getting a lot of hate, at least the YouTubers that went. And I I'm gonna say this right now. I think it would be stupid and insane if we did not take EA's offer on going to the trip to Toronto. I mean, yes. Uh, I did want to go to the motion capture and whatever, but I think the main thing I wanted to do was meet the YouTubers. I think that was the main thing. I, I think that uh, we had this plan for a while. Like I wanted to meet X-Tech. I wanted to meet Clapton at one point. I didn't think it would be right now because I I know my channel's somewhat big, but it, I don't feel like I exactly deserved it. And when I went to the EA event and everything and coming back from it, I kind of asked myself, why was I invited to the event? I even asked uh, Shay. He was the community manager. I asked him why we were invited, and he told me that he wanted to give us give EA a more positive image for NHL, and I could see how uh, that would maybe result in it. Uh, but I felt like it was a very, very well, it was a well planned event. Not gonna lie, but then again, it was a very confusing reason with why you know what, all of us YouTubers actually got invited because I felt like we were really out of place being invited to a four or five star hotel and then going to this event uh, where there was TSN and all these things and we were just there to play the game, nothing else other than that. I mean, when you look at the event uh, in red, like in going back, I mean, it was only six hours. The event was only six hours 
and we stay there for two nights. I mean, most of the time, we just spend time with the YouTubers, which is a lot of fun, obviously. Uh, and I think that was the biggest thing I, I took away from that experience and networking with everybody. But other than that, the EA event was nothing too special that, you know what, you missed a lot of. I mean, if, even if you did go, the only reason why you would want to go was to meet the YouTubers. However, I do see the other end of what people are thinking when, you know what, we are invited to the EA event, uh, we are paid to say good things about the game. I could see how people were thinking about that. I could see how, if I was maybe not invited, why they got invited instead of me. I could see, I could see some reasons behind why people would question uh, us as YouTubers going to this event. But I don't think you would uh, miss out on an event like that. I mean, yes, uh, it was random. But then again, it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I mean, if it's all expense paid trip, you might as well go. You meet all the YouTubers, like, how can you not pass up on that trip? And to get the hate that we are getting for whatever we were doing, I mean, I don't think it's really fair to us as YouTubers to, in order to not accept that deal. I think everybody was pretty, uh, pretty sure that we were going to get a lot of hate going in and we knew when we we're talking at the hotel on one room like we were going to get hate it was just a matter of how we were going to deal with it and this is kind of my way of dealing it I want to give my own kind of opinion on me going to the EA event like I said I mean yes the EA event was six seven hours I mean all we did was eat we go like we ate uh, free lunch or whatever it was and we ate some chicken skewers and then we saw some motion capture which was cool I'm not going to lie that it was like it was boring but it was cool but we were kind of out of place at that section I mean everybody's in business suits and we were just there like you know what what are we doing here other than playing the game and recording like we were all on the side wearing our like hoodies and stuff and it's just like it was so weird and so random on why we were invited that even I questioned why I was there so just to summarize what I talked about, how we were invited to the EA event, about the NHL 15 game, how it's not fully complete, uh, that is just about it for my NHL 15 review. Uh, I just want to say that, you know what, uh, I think NHL 15 is just a stepping stone once again for NHL 16. I can see some very bright things coming in for NHL 16 for sure. Obviously, I hope that the post content update uh, release is a success and I do enjoy playing it because I'm already bored of NHL 15. Not gonna not gonna lie like my I'm a very avid HUT player and when HUT is not fully up to date and it is not the greatest game mode in the world, it's hard to make videos on. I'm not gonna lie, it's already two weeks in and I'm already starting to get bored and that is a little bit of a problem. However, I will stick to it. I'm hoping EA will put some more effort into completing the game mode, but once again, I think that EA really rushed NHL 15 and you know what, I think the whole game has to suffer, the whole community has to suffer. I even think that the NHL EA Sports suffers as well in terms of sales as well. So I felt like this year was a bit unplanned for them, and I don't think that it was completely their fault as well. But I don't think it was completely like I think it was some I think it was someone's fault to make the decision to bring NHL 14 to the next gen console. I think whoever that person was, they obviously did not know the uh, the the capability of the NHL development team and whatever it was because there obviously is a lot of problems with NHL 15 so far. I think we can all agree with that, right? But anyways. That's just about it for my little rant about NHL 15 and what I thought about it. I said that word too many times. I'm going to end the video right there. So anyways, thanks for watching. I want to hear some of your comments in the comment box below. Let me know what you think about what we what I talked about before. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good day. Bye.